Jacob Asset Management Chairman and CIO Ryan Jacob. He's a Twitter shareholder. He's been trimming shares since Mr. Musk's offer joins us now uh, on the news line. What, what's your immediate reaction to this news that Julia just told us about first and foremost? Well, I think it just reinforces the, the idea that um, Elon is still moving forward with the transaction, even with a lot of reservations. But uh, he has all the financing in place, and he has a buy-in from the existing shareholder base. So, um, you know, we're still in the position where we think that uh, this transaction is still likely to close. Were you in favor of the transaction? I know you, you sold a good portion of stock when the offer was made, and this stock obviously uh, popped, and I'm sure you're happy about that. Are, are you in favor of it? Yes. I, I think that um, a lot of what Elon put forward um, informally or what we've heard through other channels uh, make a lot of sense and what shareholders have been asking for uh, over the past several years. The, the, the company's just been very slow to act and very slow to adapt to uh, make these changes. And, and that's the reason why, you know, a lot of shareholders are frustrated. And quite frankly, the share price uh, never really reflected the full value of the platform. What about price, 54.20 versus 39 and 75 or 6, where, it, where it's trading right now? I mean, do you think they should do a haircut on the price? Well, theoretically, the board holds all the cards here. Uh, they have a signed uh, deal, um, and they can move this through regulatory approval to closing. Practically speaking, Elon still has some options and could delay things um, if he chooses to, which is in really no one's interest, especially the company's. So my guess is we'll probably see some sort of negotiated solution here, uh, and it could involve a haircut of the share price. Um, but, you know, with the original offer at 5420, there's still some room there, and, and for it to still be a good investment for current Twitter shareholders. I mean, you, you said it's in no one's best interest to delay this further. Isn't it clearly in his best interest to do exactly that? Uh, until he thinks he can get a better price. I can understand why Twitter obviously wants to hold on to 5420 because they may be desperate looking at their stock price where it is now. And as you said, they've got the signed offer. They got the bird in the hand, as I said to our guest earlier. Why would they even consider renegotiating anything? The longer he holds out, the better for him, no? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, you know, from a strict legal perspective, um, you know, they, they could force the issue and try to close the deal. And in the meantime, we're already seeing some brain drain from Twitter. And I, and I know Elon's intent is to slim down the company. Uh, but, uh, you know, if this does get protracted, um, you know, it, it's really it's going to make it more difficult for him once he takes over. So uh, and I think just, you know, for, for a lot of different reasons, I think it makes sense for all parties to kind of come to some sort of negotiated solution here. And my guess is that's what we'll see over the coming weeks.